when you get into debate with President Obama, is it going to be good enough on health care to just say, I want to repeal Obamacare? We need a candidate who's going to be able to say, look to Massachusetts, that's the model. Look to the problems that have been created up there. Look to the fact that you have insurance rates going through the roof. Look to the fact that it's harder and harder to find a doctor up there since Romney Care was passed. Look to the fact that it costs more in every respect, and it takes 48 days on average now in Massachusetts to get to a checkup, just an ordinary checkup to see a doctor. Do you want to head in that direction that the, the model for Obamacare was, or do you want to go in a, a very different direction that Newt can explain simply about patient and doctor rights and individual choice and more opportunities for us and still covering pre-existing conditions? And I can see that debate unfolding. But I can't see it with Governor Romney because he's going to have one arm or maybe both of them tied behind his back. So when you're talking to folks on the phones, when you're doing all the work and they ask you questions, and there will be. That's the kind of way it happens at a headquarters in a phone bank the last three or four days. Don't be shy about defending Newt Gingrich. Don't be shy about being critical of the opponent in the right way. In the right way. I mean, Mitt Romney is a fine and honorable man. I like him. If he turned out to be our nominee, of course I would support him. But I will tell you that Rick Santorum is not in this race. He might get 10 or 20 percent. I don't know what he's going to get in Florida. But he's not able to beat Romney. He's not going to be the nominee. Anybody that's voting for my friend Rick is wasting their vote. But with this sharp contrast between Romney and Gingrich, people need to know that it's Newt who's most likely to beat Obama, not the other way around. And they need to, we need their vote, and we need them to turn out. The grassroots need to turn out. And we don't need the establishment telling us what to do. Now, I'll give you a couple of good news pieces as I leave. We may see polls that say he's down a little bit in Florida right now. By the way, been up and down. Newt's been way up at the beginning of the week, down about seven or eight points today in some of these polls. Weekend numbers we're seeing look really good. The momentum looks coming our way. Nationally, there are two polls out right now that show nationwide that Newt has an eight or nine point lead over Romney. So when, when somebody says to Newt, which they did this morning, are you going to drop out if you don't win Florida? Of course not. He's going, why would the guy who's leading drop out? Uh, but he plans to win Florida, and we plan for you to win for Florida. And there's one other thing. I can't tell you this tonight, but I'll give you a teaser. There's going to be a really big endorsement tonight coming later on from somebody you will know who it is. And I hope, and I'm working on another one for tomorrow, and you're going to see that momentum build up through the weekend so that J.C. Watts and Fred Thompson and me and a few others aren't the only ones out here pounding the turf with you guys. Go get them. Make those calls. Do those emails. We're going to win. Newt's going to win the nomination. We're going to win Florida for him. And the next president of the United States, with your help, is going to be Newt Gingrich. Okay? Go get him. Thanks, ladies.